What's up? Ron Carter here and Edie the cat here. And today I wanted to share something with you guys. And first of all, I just have a question. Like, why are you wasting so much time creating content that's doing nothing for your affiliate marketing? I see so many people, they're creating a whole bunch of content all day saying like, hey, happy Tuesday, awesome morning. And they're getting a lot of likes and a lot of comments. But unfortunately, you can't take these likes in these comments, these mindless comments where people are like, hey, happy Tuesday or totally agree. You can't take that step to the bank, right? And so there's a big problem that I see where a lot of people are making content like this consistently. They're not making leads, which means they're not creating leads, which means they're not making sales. And so today, if you give me just five minutes of your time, I'm going to share with you something that you can do right now to start creating leads with your content. And uh, I'm going to be sharing a document to show you how to do this and how this all works. If you guys want to get access to that document, just drop me a line below. I'll shoot it over to you. Uh, but all that aside, let's just get right into it. I'll share my screen. And so here's the thing that's really going on is when people, when you're creating all this content like this, most people, they're, they're not really getting leads. And so they think that the way to like actually start getting leads to get sales is by doing more of what isn't working, doing like creating just more content, doing three posts like the ones that they're doing a day or four or five. And it's insanity. It's insanity. And so I'm going to share with you exactly what I did to be able to uh, generate $220,000 worth of revenue over the last two years. A hundred K of that was in my business. 120 of that was in another business that I was working in. And that way you could just implement this today, right now, get leads, get sales, and stop wasting so much of your time creating content that doesn't move the needle for you. And just so you know, after I started implementing this, I don't make content like for hours a day anymore. I don't even post every day. If you look at my Facebook profile, um, I post like every couple days and like, and this works. And when I make a post, it takes me five minutes, 10 minutes to create. Uh, it's like, it's, it's so much easier. Uh, so this is using what I like to call the RVLC method. So RVLC, it stands for, these are the types of posts that you should be creating. And this document goes over all of them. But what I'm going to be sharing with you in this document is the most important one, which I like to call the money-making post or the call to action post. That's the C in the RVLC method. So RVLC stands for results, value, lifestyle, and call to action. And these are all the different types of posts that we should be making. And uh, the thing is, if you're not making call to action posts, you're not generating leads and you're not making money. You could be making content all day long. And if you're not making call to action posts, if you're not offering something to your audience, then they're not going to buy from you. And what happens is they end up seeing you as kind of like an internet buddy instead of an authority that they can learn from and that they could invest in themselves through you with and, and be able to learn and be able to, to grow. And then they're not, you're not making money. They're not growing. You guys are just like internet besties. And, um, yeah, that's not really the goal. Maybe that is the goal for you. But if you're watching this video, I'm betting that it's not. So uh, call to action posts. They push people to the next step in your funnel. So in, in your funnel, I mean like your process. You don't even have to have a funnel for this to work. You can just have an affiliate link and that's it. But if you're making call to action posts, then people are identifying themselves as leads. They're raising their hand by commenting on your call to action post, then you can get into a messenger conversation with them and share your link with them. And so this is how you extract cash from your audience, AKA this is the kind of post that makes you money. Uh, it should be only about 10% of your posts, but if you have this problem where you're posting all this other stuff, then you don't need to worry about that. You've been posting all this other stuff forever. You could just make one of these posts now. Um, and you can do it right now after you watch this video and you'll get some leads. And so there's two ways of doing this. There's the Paisa format, and then there's the snapshot call to action post. The snapshot one is a lot easier and simpler. So we're going to go over this one today. Um, and I'm going to give you an example. So the snapshot post, this is a short post where you offer the desired situation your prospects want without all the things they don't want to deal with. 
and that's it. And you ask them to comment if interested. So everyone commenting is a lead for you to reach out to. And here's a snapshot of the latest one that I've done on my Facebook profile, at least at the time of recording this. So here's the screenshot of the post. If I could give you a completely done for you affiliate marketing business, no content, no funnels, no coursework to go through, would you be interested? Super simple. It's like, just make a freaking offer, right? And then like, look, 29 people commenting. That's 29 leads. Actually, some of those comments are me responding to people, but it's somewhere around like 18 to 19 leads from, I made one post and then they're commenting and then I go into messenger with them. It's that simple. So uh, the rest of the stuff in this document shows you how to make the other type of posts that grow your audience, your lifestyle posts, um, value posts, sharing aha moments, uh, results posts, sharing proof and credibility, things like that. And all that really does is help people raise their hand when they see your call to action post. So the first thing to do is just make this call to action post that's the first thing that I would do if I were you. And I want to keep this under five minutes for you guys. We've actually already went over. Uh, so if you want to check out this document, uh, just let me know below. That way you can have a framework to follow. And there's actually another type of call to action post on here, the Paisa format. It's a little bit longer. Uh, this document goes into detail on how to do it, though. And the difference is this Paisa format, uh, it will give you less leads than the snapshot post but they will be a little bit more qualified. And so if your problem is not having enough leads, just start off with this. That way you get leads in. Don't worry about if they're not as qualified, just get as many leads in as possible, right? Because how many leads you get leads to how many conversations you have in Messenger and how many conversations you have in Messenger is what is directly correlated to how much money you make. So hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, let me know. And also, if you want this document, just let me know below and I'll, I'll send it over.